Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so today I'm on GTA 5 and it's a bit of a different video today. Um, it's just basically giving you some information that a lot of people have forgotten about and don't take advantage of. Um, a lot of people are going to know about it and for you guys that's fair enough, but there are a lot of people that don't. Um, now with GTA, I had it on the PS3 and it was great. I got it on the next gen just for one reason only really. And that was the fact that you could go into first person, and it's great. Now, I play a lot of first person shooter games, Battlefield, Call of Duty, that sort of stuff, and you get used to the controls when you're in first person. Now, the only problem with GTA when you first start it in this mode is you try doing the same sort of stuff, so you'll hold down your left trigger to try and run or sprint, but you don't, you end up ducking down, and you still have to bash the X, and it gets annoying, and to be fair, this is one of the reasons why a lot of people don't end up playing in first person on GTA. Now, what you can actually do, like I say, a lot of people will know about it, but there are quite a few that don't. You can change the way that the controls work in first person. So if you come onto your settings, controls down here, you can see at the moment it's standard. So when you're holding your left trigger down, it's going into stealth mode, um, everything else is normal. But if you go across, you can put it into standard first person shooter mode, which for this one, your left, uh, your left stick, sorry, uh, when you're holding it down, helps you sprint. Now, the only other thing is, you usually when you're using your melee attacks, you'd use your right trigger. Now, unfortunately on this one, you can't change it standardly, but if you're on PlayStation 4, um, you'll know that there is a way to configure your buttons and there is a way to change it. If you want to change it so your R3, I think it is, is your melee attack, if you kind of swap it, it work, but there is a little bit of an issue with firing weapons and stuff. But once you've got it in first person shooter, the standard FPS, it is pretty easy to get into when you've got your guns, you're holding your left trigger down and you're running as normal and you get used to aiming and zooming in and stuff. It is a lot better. And I think it's, yeah, it's R1 to lean up against the wall and to peek out. So it's the same sort of thing. So if you're a Call of Duty fan or a Battlefield fan, and the only reason that you don't use first person in GTA is because of the controls, mostly it is just like the sprinting and stuff. Once you've changed it, it does feel really familiar and it doesn't take that much getting used to. Now, apart from the lock-on thing, that's the only thing. If you play first-person shooter games, most of you will know there isn't a way to lock on. But targeting mode, you can have it so it's assisted, or you can actually put it so it's totally free aim, and then it does feel like you're playing a proper first-person shooter, because you're only aiming where you're aiming. There's nothing helping you guide anything. And it is pretty cool when you sprint it around. As you can see, it's easy to get used to. Like I say, if you play a lot of first person shooter games and you want to enjoy GTA in first person, once you change these, like I say, it is really familiar and it gets really easy to play and you get to take advantage of the new mold that was added into next generation. But that's it for this one, guys. Like I say, I know a lot of you people will know about it, but there are quite a few people out there that don't. Um, I know a few of my friends didn't even know you could go into first person on PS4 on GTA, which is absolutely crazy, I know. Um, but yeah, for those of you that do, that don't use it, if you change these settings, it will make the game a lot more enjoyable and a lot more familiar to play in first person and really really less annoying well like i say guys i hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel i do all sorts on here but thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time